How's uh, how's your man looking? He's been out of the out of the gym so far as fights are concerned for a fair while now. How much has he regained the spark? Uh, in in what it was in how badly does he want to fight? Uh, how good how good is he looking? You know, you've been around I'm him. Gonna, for, I'm not going to answer that nah, one. You've got to be. You've been around he's, him for years. Is, is he is he ready? Is he looking as though he's really focused on this? Well, I'm his I'm his coach and I'm not stressed at all. That's probably the best answer I can give. I'm happy. Um, and he's and he's definitely got plenty of fight in him. How, bad, how badly does he really want this one? Is it, a, is it a personal thing or is it just making a statement that, yeah, I'm still here as a fighter? No, he didn't need to, he does, he didn't need to make that statement because he'd be tired. He wants to fight the man. He wants to fight Derek. Um, and, and David wants to test himself as well because he wants to prove that he can deal with a, a pressure fighter like Derek. Derek certainly comes into it at this stage anyway, looking at him and talking to him. He seems to certainly have a belief that he can have David's number. Why wouldn't he? He was able to march vitally down progressively throughout that fight. If you look at that, that, that fight as two halves, the first half of the fight, Derek was trying to pressure him and respond to every right hand vitally through with a right hand of his own, yeah. whether it was landing on his arms or his chin. Every time vitally was landing, Derek was thrown back. And the second half of the fight, Vitaly just wanted the fight to end. Derek didn't. And, and that speaks volumes for Derek's ability. And he's, you know, he's going to be a better fighter this time around than he was last time around. And his ability to take a shot, yeah? Well, that's, I think that's the key to his style. The key to his style is being able to walk forward, to take the shot, but also to keep trying to scuff them by, by the way he moves into range. Um, I, th I think that if Derek was to try to, to actually box in a bit more of a formal manner, he wouldn't be as effective. David's kind of saying what I guess he has to say in the run-up to a fight, but as a coach, you can't really buy into that, do you? You have to, you have to look and analyse everything that, uh, that Derek brings to the table and, and prepare with some respect, yeah? Of course, you have, to, you have to... In any fight, someone can win. So the way I look at it is, if, if I was looking at Derek, how could Derek win this fight? I have to look at every reason that Derek could have to win this fight and then build things to take that away from him. You then look at how can Derek be beaten and then build the blocks to take care of his shortcomings. But you have to look at their strengths. If you can take away a man's strengths, then he becomes easier to beat. So is speed a key? That's an easy one to say though, isn't it? Speed is a key to most things in life, except for a few. But, you know... Speed is always a key, but it's not just about speed, you can, because you can nullify speed. And, and maybe Derek's working on things to try and nullify the fact that David's got quicker hands than him. But this, this, no, this fight isn't just about speed. This fight's about so much more than that. I was going to say, on the back of that, David <coughs> certainly believes that he is going to be able to hit uh, Derek Chisora in a manner that others haven't, that he will be in there against a harder puncher. Well... In, when you say in a manner that others haven't, people have landed cleanly on Derek. Derek's been hurt in there before. Vit Vitaly Klitschko, who we know is a puncher, has landed clean on Derek's chin. So, so we know that Derek can be hit. That's not the issue. It's, it's about beating him the right way. Um, in answer to your original question, speed is only part of the equation. How much do you have to keep personal animosity out of there? Because sometimes if fighters go into a ring fighting angry, fighting on emotion, then they're not doing the right thing. No, but sometimes that's, that's the way you should fight. Some fighters need anger and emotion because it benefits their style. It benefits the way that they want to win that fight. So you, you, can't, you can't apply that rule to everybody. Uh, it doesn't apply to David in this one. David, we use, we use the, the anger and the emotion to fuel him. To Is that genuine? Himself. Is what? that a genuine anger he has? What do you think? Well, it certainly not, looks that way. I don't think I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's gonna hug him and give him Christmas cards for the rest of his life afterwards. I don't know. When you say anger, he wants to fight the man. Whatever whatever emotion you want to attach to that, the fact is that he wants to get in there and he wants to hurt him and he wants to beat him in a fight. Um, now, anger is an ingredient in that, but there's so much. Again, there's so much more to it. But David's style, you know, David's style doesn't necessarily require him to be angry. But what helped is that with that element of fuel, the training sessions are so much better.
can he keep himself in control and under check right the way up to fight time if, if Derek tries to pull one of the one of the strokes that we've seen uh, in, on various occasions in the run-up to contest? Derek's not going to pull any strokes. What strokes are there to pull? He's got the fight. He's getting paid. He's got what he wants. Well, he's going to try and get a psychological edge, though, isn't he, one way or another? Wait, that would be wasted energy on David. Just look at If you look at David's career, amateur and pro, to think that you can get a psycho psychological edge on him is... It will be wasted energy because every day in the gym, my job is to try and expose David's weak points. So every day in the gym, psychologically, and I know him as a fighter better than anyone because I, I've seen everything he's done since the age, since a teenager, all the spars and all the fights. So, so I know the things that get to him. I know the things that need to be worked on. I know more than anyone. Um, and that's what I do every day. I try and get to him psychologically in the gym to expose the weaknesses and to fuel his desire to work on them. And, and he doesn't crack. He's too experienced now. So five weeks to go before uh, big fight time. Four weeks, four days. Four weeks, four days, is it? Slightly less than five weeks. How close are you to getting David where he wants to be now? He's where he needs to be today, that's for sure. You know, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't in any way think that we're playing catch up on anything, so I'm really happy. Neither of them are ready to fight today. They wouldn't be professional if they were, because it's all about timing it. You know, you're never going to be 12 round fit and 12 round sharp and ready for a title fight every day of the week. So, you know, they got their preparation to do. We've got ours. You map the preparation, and and the, and the timing of the preparation ends on July the 14th. He looks confident, smiling, relaxed. You look confident. Anything going to uh, dissuade you from the fact that things are going your way at this stage? Is there any any worry, even somewhere in your in your makeup of the possibility of defeat? I'm a, I'm a natural warrior. I worry about things. Uh, if, if things are, for me, in the gym, it can never be good enough. Doesn't matter how good it is, it can never be good enough because I'm, I obsess over it and I worry about it. But that's just me. That's how I operate. And that makes, and it, it's been like that ever since day one. So I'm not going to change anything in the way that I see things because we believe that we know what we're doing and, and it will, just like they do. And, and, and it, as it, Knowing what I know about David and seeing what I know about Derek, or what I, what I understand about Derek, and I stand back and I think, this is one hell of a fight. This is one hell of a fight. And he knows it. He knows it's a hell of a fight. And even knowing that, he has more lust and more thirst for it. And that's a good thing. You know, when you see that the fighter that you're training believes and knows it's going to be a hard battle and that he's preparing for a hard battle and he turns up to the gym enthusiastic, wanting to do things, then you know that, that, that that's, that's the makings of someone that can put in a good performance.